Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video we're going to see what is the main difference in cookies, local storage, as well as in session storage in JavaScript. So let's get started. You should try Cloudways. Cloudways provide cloud-based solutions. Instead of going for the shared hosting, you should go for cloud-based services because they have the performance benefit. The Cloudways supports a lot of technologies. I myself have WordPress and Laravel applications running on Cloudways server and the performance is way too good. They are reasonable in price and link is in the description. Give it a go. So generally when you go on any website, you see that there are uh, there is a lot asking about cookies that the website uses some cookies basically we use cookies we use local storage to store the user data as well as the session storage now as the image shows here the capacity wise cookie holds the less data only four kilobyte and as compared to local storage and session storage the local storage we can have store more data as well as in session now when we talk about this accessibility when you have a tab open in the browser so you are setting a cookie or you're setting a local storage you need to make sure that you are are you going to get the access to that data on that very browser so if you're working on firefox you cannot access the cookie saved in firefox in your chrome browser so what happens is when you close the tab you could simply kill the session and when you kill the session all session values goes away instead uh, if we, you want that if after closing the tab still you want your uh, data to be there users data you can use local storage in that case as well as cookies cookies is basically you will be setting some expiration date and time that's totally uh, something that you can control and uh, it is going to expire accordingly or you can set it according to some event like user does this or that then you want to clear the cookies something like that so that can be done here now cookies we send to the server so that's one of the reason it has the four kilobyte in size we store as less data possible and then when we talk about uh, the storage uh, session storage we store all data in the browser as well as in local storage and in cookies we store data in browser and in some cases in server too now let's see an example I have a website open here so I'm gonna open the browser and when we go inside the application and I scroll this up here I have a YouTube page open here so what I gonna do is simply Going to show you here so we have three options in storage and we have the local storage session storage there is cookies so when we go inside local storage you will see a lot of websites i have a few here so the youtube on the top so youtube is having some data here that it is storing as a local storage and then it is uh, uh, might be going to use it in some way uh, we don't know what exactly it's going to be but it's the way it is using similarly we have session storage so we have the website you can check in your browser what kind of data is being used you can have view here as well as in cookies and here is the uh, setting cookies so now we're going to see a few examples how we can set these values and how you can use in your application when you want to work with the these three storage types all right guys so here is the file i'm i have the script tag here simply we are going to write the javascript code here to set up the values so first of all i want to show you the local storage so it's going to come in here local storage so if you working with your form in uh, any kind of form or any data of user data you might want to add some data into your local storage so simply you can set here so to do that we use local and then capital S storage and when you do this you just hit dot and then set item. and here I'm going to say let's say your username is uh, Roger okay so we're just setting this value so by setting this it is going to uh, set the value name as Roger so if I go here and refresh the page and I go in local storage we have the name Roger so here 
the value is set. Now, if you want to set more, you can set more values. Simply, I'm gonna add here another one. I'm gonna call this age, and I'm gonna pass this time a number, 23. And okay, refresh the page. We have the age here as well. Now, if you want to remove any of these values, that is quite simple as well. All you need to do, you simply say local storage dot remove item. Sorry about the spellings. So I just need to put dot here and we need to provide the name which we want to remove. So if I say here name, it's going to remove it. So if I save this and refresh, you can see that the name is no longer there. It is getting set on the top, but here it is getting removed. So that's why it's not showing up there anymore. Now, uh, let's talk about it if we have multiple values at, at any point. Um, for example, you, your user came from a form and at one point you saved the data, now you want to clear local storage. So if you want to clear local storage, all you need to do, I'm just going to copy this to save time. I'm just going to put a new line here. And all you need to do is you simply say here, clear, clear it all. So if I refresh here, you will see that it cleared everything. So at any point, if you want to clear, you can simply do that. Now, you might want to get the data as well. We are clearing it, but you want to use this data. That's the reason we are storing it. So for getting the data, we can use something like this. So I say console.log. And here I say local storage. And then we want to say simply get item. Yeah. Name. All right, so this time we are getting item here. We are setting item, so syntax is quite easy. You can understand that, and we are not clearing or removing this time, so it should give us the value. So if I go to console.log, we have the value Roger showing up there, so it's working just as expected. So this is how you work with the uh, local storage. So let's see the examples how we work with the cookies and session next. First of all, let's see the example of session because it's quite similar in a so many ways with local storage. So I put a comment here, session storage. And here, what we need to do, let me put a space here so it look better. Okay. All right. Now, what I want to do here, I want to set a value. So to set a value, we simply say session. And just like we said local storage, we say session storage. And we are going to say here dot set item. So syntax wise quite same. You're gonna say name and I want to pass here. Um, let's make it last name. We have name on top, so here I simply say uh, Smith. Yeah. So we just set a uh, session storage. Now what do we want to do? We wanna check that it's working or not. So what I do is simply uh, console log here, console dot log, and I wanna say here session. storage dot get item and here I will be passing last name all right so okay we should get Smith in the console log so I refresh here we get Smith here now if I go to the application and there we want to look under session storage and there we have last name Smith so it's working as expected now for the rest the syntax is also similar as well so let me copy this and paste here so if I want to uh, remove or I need to say remove item and pass the uh, name so I'm just gonna remove this we are setting last name I refresh here it is removed and it is null here because it is setting on top then it is getting removed so it is null now I'm just gonna comment this out if you want to clear it the way we did these uh, local storage similarly we can do that too session dot uh, storage dot clear all right so if we have multiple values it's going to clear it out so uh, or a single value it's still to do the same so refresh we still have null here application storage nothing there so now if i comment this one out save go back refresh we have last name 
So this is how you do it. We can set get and remove and as well as clear the session values. Now let's see the example of cookies because cookies is something um, a bit different as compared to session storage as well as local storage. So I'm going to put here cookies and here so to set a cookie you simply say document dot cookie and then you assign a value to it so we pass a string so here I'm going to say name is equal to Zarks bits all right and I put a semicolon now this is going to be a cookie now when we put a value here we have the key value pair and then I add a semicolon here I can put uh, the other parameters that can be path or expiry. So from this moment, what I do, I simply want to see what we get when we so we save this cookie. So I'm just going to time call here, hit console.log, and I'm going to put document.cookie in there. We'll see more uh, options, what we can do with there, but let's see what happens. So I refresh the page, we get name socks space. If I go in application, cookie we have this cookie set now if i expand this you will notice that we have a few options here we have domain we have path we have expiry we have size so uh, what we can do we can define these uh, the path basically it is going to be the path we have here on the website and i'm working on the domain local host it's showing that expiry is something that we can define so let's uh, put an expiry. So I have a code here, a line of code, just to save time. I'm just going to copy that. So I'm just going to comment this one. And I'm going to put this one here. All right. So let's see the difference. So we basically have here, let's make a name instead of username. So we have name, John, then we have semicolon, we're separating with it, we give a space, and then we say expires. And then we are giving a time and this is the time when it expires so it is going to auto expire on this day uh, that you define here then we have path and path is we are providing slash all right now in my case it is slash test so i'm going to pass slash test there all right so just let me do that okay so now i save this go there refresh now you will notice the thing that changed that we have an expiry date here that we defined there so we have name the size is changed because the value is different now and we have the path given here all right now if you want to you are not bound to expire here on that particular day you can uh, trigger an event that is going to expire this straight away. So let's see what we can do here. So here I'm going to create a function, a small function that is going to just going to remove this cookie. So what it going to do, let's say, this is preferred way is the camel case way. So you use that way. And I want to pass here the username. Uh, we're using name, so I'm going to pass name in that case. Now here, what we're going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this right there, all right? And this is just uh, setting again the value. So the name this time we want to change it's because what name we are passing, we want that name here. So I'm just going to put that name here and expire. We need to change this date. So what I'm going to do, we're going to pass a date which is not current date. So today is 30 uh, July. So I see here 18, let's say, Jan and 2019, which is already gone. So it should be expired. So I save this, okay. Now what we need to do, we need to call this function. So what we do here, I'm going to call this function and I'm going to do it in set timeout so that we can see the cookie getting set and after that yeah, getting removed. So I say set and uh, time out. Now here I'm going to pause three seconds so we can see the difference. And here I'm going to call this function to so delete cookie. So we're gonna call it right here. 
Now, when you're calling the function, we are expecting a name. So the cookie we want to delete is the John. So I'm going to pass this name here. So just going to pass name here. So it's just going to get that cookie. Okay. So now we go here. Let me expand this. And I refresh the page. We have a cookie. And in three seconds, let's see if we are getting an error. We're getting an error. Let me correct that. 46. Okay, I forgot to add the function. So when you write a function, you write function first. So it should fix it now. So add the alert so we can see that it, this is working. So here I simply say fired. So that we know that this fired, this event. So here now I'm going to refresh the page. In application, we have cookie, John, we're waiting for the alert. Okay, so when you refresh the page, it sets the cookie, you get the alert okay now if i refresh here you will see it's gone so you, if i refresh the page we will have cookie again and uh, i say okay refresh gone working as expected so it's clearing out after three seconds it's deleting the cookie because anytime you said to the past is going to uh, expire that cookie and that's what we are doing we've seen and then how we can delete it but there is possibility you want to set multiple values here we are just setting the name John you might want to set the user name and user age and any more data so in that case what you can do simply is but and it is going to be equal to I'm going to pass here else now is equal to this and then I'm going to plus now here I say JSON and then there are going to be a function stringify we need to pass an object. So this object will have the values you want to set. So here, first value, what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say name and let's cookie. I comment the above cookie and here we are going to count the log. I'm going to comment this as well because we don't wanna delete this cookie currently. So now let's see. So if I go to the browser and refresh the page, you will see that the user details and we have both the values. So you can save uh, multiple values here. Uh, bear in mind that we, yeah, the size will increase accordingly. The more information you save, the more going to be the size. And the same way, if you want to expire this cookie, all you need to do, you just need to pass alongside. What I'm gonna do is simply gonna copy this, okay, from the end of this, and I'm going to put it here. All right, again, okay, the date is 2019, which is already passed, so it's not setting, so. Let me copy that from the top. I'm going to put right here so that we have a working cookie. All right, now save this, go to the browser and refresh. We have the cookie, we have the expiration of that setup. So this is how you work with the sessions, cookies, as well as local storage. The code for of this file, you can download it, it's in the description. Thank you for watching, goodbye. Oh,